All right, what's up guys? Simon from BrainBest.com. Now, I've been doing Arduino tutorials and various electronic projects uh, for a couple of years now, and I've learned a thing or two about stuff going wrong. One of the main thing I try to remember when buying parts for a project is don't just get one. Because you see these little modules or electronic parts that you get from Amazon or eBay, well, they sometimes arrive DOA or might fail not long after you start using them. Now, don't get me wrong, most of the parts I buy are just fine and they have no problem, but let me explain the reason to get more than one. For example, in my last project, the motorized Arduino slider, I was using the Easy Driver stepper controller board and everything started out fine, but at some point in the project, the stepper motor started jittering and moving erratically. Now, at first you might be thinking that something was changed in the code to create this, so you start looking at the code, making changes, re-uploading to Arduino, testing to see if that fixed it. So you're wasting a lot of time trying to find a reason for this behavior, and all this time it turned out to be the easy driver that for no reason just stopped working. Now, if you have bought more than one, you can quickly check if the hardware is at fault first, and if it is, then the problem is solved and you can continue right away. But if you just bought one, well, then you spend an insane amount of time trying to figure out what's wrong. Because you see, we tend to concentrate too much on the code and not enough on the hardware, just taking for granted that it should be working. Well, the green light is on, so it must be okay. Well, sometimes it's not, and the only way to know is to switch it for another one. Now, I'm not saying buy two of everything, but if the modules or parts that you're getting for your project cost pennies or under 10 bucks, well, maybe it's a good idea to get more than one. It might end up saving you a lot of time trying to find a problem, or at least save you the trouble of ordering the part again and having to wait for it to be delivered. Because you see, sometimes you're in the zone and having to wait for a replacement part make you lose interest in the project. So there you go, guys. I'll do it for today. Uh, hopefully you found this uh, helpful. Maybe it'll help you in the next project. Like I always say, if you like my videos, please subscribe. I try to do a video every week. And uh, yeah, so uh, that's it. My name is Ivan, and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.